You know, this isn't the video that I thought I would be making today, but, you know, I'm pretty excited for it. Let me start off with a confession, though. I have been horrible when it comes to soldering. Before quadcopters, I just didn't do it that often. It would be, you know, once or twice a year at most. And so I've literally lived my life just buying cheap soldering irons. I used to, you know, sit here and buy these stupid little Radio Shack ones. And actually, this tip's not too bad. Um, I'm throwing it away, I promise. Um, yeah, I would just buy cheap little Radio Shack soldering irons for like 12 bucks. But then a couple years ago, Radio Shack closed down. Like all throughout where I live. So then I had to find new soldering irons for when I wanted to solder. And once I bought this giant piece of crap, because this reminded me of the soldering iron that my dad had growing up. Oh, oh, that's been a worse mistake than the rest of them, to be honest. However, these little guys from the Funky Freight. Woo, man. You know, when it's only three bucks or three something out the door, it's a pretty screaming deal. And it'll get you by. But that's the thing about that Funky Freight mentality. They don't even bother selling replacement tips for them. I'm pretty sure these tips would come out and be able to be replaced, but hey, for a $3 iron, why do it? So, here's the thing, is that now that I've been working with quadcopters, I think I've burned up these three plus another one of these in just a short time that I've been flying. So, it's time to change my ways. I'm going to be a change man and put aside my evil past. And so I have ordered a soldering iron. But at the same time, you know, I'm huge on, on budget things. So there, the Heiko 936 has been a staple in electronics industry and, and solder work and stuff like that for basically ever. Um, but the Heiko 936 is discontinued. Now, you know, the current Heiko line is the FX line and the... Uh, Heiko FX 888D is typically what you're going to see most people using. It's that blue and white one, which it comes in an all silver option. You never see the all silver, just the blue and white, because there's something to be said about having a Heiko, apparently. The 888D isn't terribly expensive. It's literally just $100 out the door. I, you know, it's like I'm not there yet. So I spent a quarter of that on what I have um, affectionately named the FACO 936. So let's get this stuff out of the way. By out of the way, I just mean boom. These are my janky soldering supplies from over the years. When Radio Shack was closing down, they actually had a sell. So I got this tip cleaner and this desoldering braid that I've still been using. I literally got this stuff when I thought it was a great day, a great idea to uh, reflow PlayStation 3s by taking them all apart and putting this stuff on all the chips and then sticking them in ovens. It worked a few times. It didn't work a few other times. And this solder, I've literally had this solder forever. So, man, you know, I gotta admit, I'm happy that I'm making some changes right now. We actually got... Our youngest, this DIY kit, um, which is nothing but uh, Adreno Uno with a solderless breadboard, and then you know all these different components: power supply, LEDs, uh, switches, resistors, capacitors, GPIO pins, transistors. I think are in there too. So you know, actually, time to teach him the solder. And if I'm gonna teach him the solder, maybe I don't want to use the absolute cheapest three dollar irons like my bad habit has been and so you know it's like i said this has been a long time coming and i'm really disappointed that my neighbors are blasting horrible music while i'm recording anyways on to the unboxing of the faco 936 
would be funny if I got like a copyright infringement for their music. Ooh, that tape is a little stronger there. I anticipate. We'll cut a little bit deeper. So I got this for Hobby King for $25 literally out the door. Maybe $26. But yes, a quarter of the price of what you would pay for the 888D, you could get a Faco 936. Which comes in this little box here. Boom. Good job, Hobby King. Of course, I got this from the US warehouse, so can't imagine too many problems there. So, yes, nothing. Oh, Yeehoo Ha 936. I wonder if they follow all of the Heiko. Uh, model numbers as well. All right, let's get you open here. Ooh, a certificate card with a fake stamp on it. The QC stamp is literally printed on there with the rest of the card. Uh, I mean, I guess that works in a way because if you don't put the card in, then it wasn't QC verified. But if you're going to make it look like a stamp, just have just buy a stamp and have someone stamp all the cards beforehand. At least it looks like a stamp. Um, <laughs> the English is in the back half of the manual, but it is there. So it is there. All right. So here's our little base stand with our sponge. All right. That's pretty unassuming there. Wonder if you could put like the metal sponge thing or metal tip cleaner thing in there. What is this? Oh no, that's not with this kit that actually came up with that. And here's our iron. It only comes with one tip. But the nice thing about using a Faco is that you can use Heiko Faco tips from the likes of eBay and whatnot. Three bucks for a set of ten and a month long wait. Rawr. Oh, it comes with a fine tip at that. Very fine tip. Oh, huh, cool. I am I've never been excited to solder something in my entire life. I ain't gonna lie. That's a different box. Let's get this thing out of there. Boom. And onto this box. We got the real power horse of the, the thing over there. Oh, it's a trim pot. It's gonna be like, that's not looking like an LED there. Scratch QR code, check authenticity. So the bottom half of the QR code is covered, and so you literally have to scratch it off and then scan the QR code to prove its authenticity. As authentic as a stamp on their certificate card is. But hey, you can't blame them for trying sometimes, or not trying, I guess. So that is it for this box. And this is what you get. yeehoo -ha. Saw during. <laughs> There's a space between the L and the D in soldering. Soldering station. Oh, really? oh, sometimes you just can't. Is that not keen? Oh, that is keen. I just can't see the key. I'm going to say that's pretty dangerous. Big reason why I bought this is because it was actually highly recommended on the EEVE blog. So, um, otherwise, I don't know if I would have, just to be honest. And there we go. That is basically it. Temperature control, labeled in Celsius and Fahrenheit for you. Nice little station for the soldering iron. About a four foot cord. Boom. Ready to go. I'm happy and excited, and I'm glad that I am making the change to be honest. So in a couple weeks, I will make another short video just to say, hey, this is how I feel about this thing because I need to do that. 
this is an unboxing. However, if you're looking for a review, this is it because I'm not using it. And I'd rather not do a review on a one-use case. So I will use it for a few weeks. I got some quads to build. We got some projects to do. I got to teach a 12-year-old how to solder. So this should be getting some use here pretty quickly as well as I got other tips coming in the mail. So good times. Thanks for watching. Um, just so you know, there is a giveaway for the month of January. Go ahead and look in the description for the link. You can win yourself a Space One Formula 220X Racer Frame Carbon Fiber 4.5 millimeter bottom plate unibody X frame. I love this thing. This is my daily driver. I don't know what I would do without it. So yes, pay attention to that. That will be at the end of January, 1st of February, when we will be giving that out. Besides that, feel free to like and subscribe and do all the things and all the stuff and or, you know, hey, I mean, all you did was unbox it. You didn't even review it. Well, we laughed about the certificate card and the scannable QR code, okay? You're going to laugh. I'm sorry. I have a dry sense of humor.